Hello, I'm Antonio Neves, and this is 3 Minute Ad Age, your daily video news show. The future of broadband was a big issue at this week's annual forum of the Association of Cable Communicators. That's the National Professional Organization of Cable TV PR Chiefs. Kyle McSlaro, President and CEO of NCTA, the cable television industry's largest trade association, was a guest speaker. He expressed surprise that so little of the current presidential political debate was focused on the regulatory fate of broadband, which he characterized as the engine of our economy. Regardless of who wins the presidency, uh, and certainly at, in Congress, I think the big issue revolves around broadband deployment. I think there is probably fairly widespread bipartisan support for the proposition that broadband is, is going to be and is the engine of our economy. It's interesting how little is actually discussed you know, on the, on the presidential campaign trail. So I think there's going to be a push, and, and that can go many different ways, right? I mean, it can go the direction we want it to be, or it can go in another direction. The a la carte, net neutrality, frankly, all of the must-carry types of issues, they're all um, a, a philosophy in telecommunications that someone else invests money in a pipe or a product, and someone else gets to lease it at below-cost rates or use it for free. And another big issue for the cable gathering was the millions of consumers who are unaware that their non-cable TV sets will go dark on February 17th, 2009. That's when the broadcast TV signal changes to digital. Mr. McSlarrow predicted a frenzy of related marketing activities would let loose immediately after November's elections. There's actually a raging debate among industries, let alone within our own industry, about you know, what's that point in time where people actually focus. You know, this is what marketers do for a living. We're going to have the election, all the political advertising is going to saturate the airwaves. And then right after the election, I think it's a sprint. I think November, December, and all the way into um, uh, February 17th, um, it's going to be a sprint to make sure that people understand um, they can manage this transition and they have options in front of them. I think every industry is going to go out and, and market the hell out of this. And I think that's actually not a bad thing. And for our last story of the day, we have a new twist on user-generated content. Condé Nast Cookie Magazine has launched a seal of approval program based on readers' opinions rather than editors' opinions of products. It intends to issue seal of approvals for products across the automotive, technology, fashion, baby gear, and travel categories. Cookie is a two-year-old publication aimed at affluent moms. And that's it for this three-minute ad age. Thanks for being with us. I'm Antonio Neves at Advertising Age in New York.